Hi, I'm Vespina Nicola from Dear to Begin Life Coaching. Uh, we're looking at our evening routine and manifesting while we are sleeping today. But just a quick revision on our last uh, live. We talked about how to prepare for the day. Um, and I just want to quickly go through that. First of all, what you do is you write down what you're grateful for. And what you are grateful for will, it, 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 it will just abundantly show up more. <laughs> so when you're grateful for something and you say that you're grateful for it, it will abundantly multiply. So that's number one. The second thing we did in the morning is we write down just anything that comes into mind chores, things that come into mind. So your brain dumping, and then you divide them. Once you've brain dumped for about 10 minutes, you divide it into A, B, C, D, A for activities that you've got to do, um, B for business, C for chores, D for your dreams. Very important, all of them. Um, and make sure you try to touch on all of them. A activities might be um, answering emails, that type of thing, business, your routine for the day, what you've got to do, see the chores, housework, um, shopping, whatever, mopping, don't know, and C, uh, sorry, D is your dreams. And I always put D in there because my dream is to be talking to you. This is a big dream of mine and I'm doing it now. I totally adore this group, Dare to Begin Life Coaching. That's all I can say. So make sure you put the D in. And once you've done that, you pick the three that are important and urgent and try to concentrate on one and do your action steps. That's a quick revision of last time. Let's go on to today. How to manifest while you are asleep. Whoa. Okay. So let's get into it. First of all, the this is important because in order to manifest something, in order to be in this space, the right frame of mind, the first thing you have to do is clean up your physical space. And what I mean by that is the clutter. The clutter will they'll be like obstacles that won't allow you to program. They won't allow you to, um, to manifest anything. And so make sure, first of all, Make sure your kitchen's clean, meaning sink, dishes washed, counters cleaned, sweeping, mopping, all of those things, and even prepare for the next day, the, the meals for the next day, number one. Then we move into your bedroom space. Make sure there's fresh air in there. Um, you might want a nice smells in there, um, like putting incense or something, some kind of smell, aromas. And also putting away your clothes, your shoes, and getting your exercise um, outfit out for the next day. Okay, so that's your physical space in your bedroom. Once you have done that, really important is your journal. So you brain dump everything that you're worried about so you don't take them to bed with you. Brain dump everything in your journal, maybe five, 10 minutes, and then put your journal and your mobile phone in the kitchen. So they are away from you. So you can concentrate on sleep, not concentrate, you can let your mind rest. So once your phone's away from you, I've got a little Casio watch, a, a Casio clock, alarm clock that wakes me up in the morning. I love it. It is the best thing. And it reminds me of my childhood years. Because when you've got the phone in your room, you're going to be distracted, strolling, and it might come one, two, three o'clock in the morning, and you won't allow yourself to sleep. Get all distractions out of your room. So once you've done those things, you've put your phone and your journal in the kitchen or away from you, out of sight, out of mind, then it is time to prepare for your manifestation. 
and to go into the dreamland. And so the way that I would do this, I want to share this with you. I've got this on my screen. Let me see if I can do this, you guys. Just have a bit of patience with me because I am 51 years old, nearly 52. And I am, um, yeah, learning a bit of technology, yay. And so we will just get that to you now. How do we share this bloody thing? Okay, here we are, yay. Okay, here we are, you guys. So this is the program. Um, you can download this sheet here. It's on the top of our um, Dear to Begin Life Coaching, and there's a whole lot of other files you can find. It's in the file section. So if you go in the file section, you can download. I've put some other things in there, and it's just a revision of what we did, we talked about today. So first of all, you're pre-sleep. You lie in bed, and you bring your attention. You just closed your eyes. And you bring your attention to the light and love of everyone you have come in contact with. Anybody that comes into mind, just close your eyes and think of them. While you are, while you are in those, while you are in that state, even people that have hurt you during the day, it doesn't matter. Um, bathe them in light and love, and say a prayer for them because they're there as your teachers. There's something they said that is there to, for you to learn. Or even if they've hurt you unkindly, you're learning something out of it. Just take the message and then slowly detach from them. Just slowly detach them, put them in the bubble and cut your umbilical cord to them, let them float away. Then just feel the light that is surrounding you that is surrounding your room, your house. Feel God, feel that love of God, that power. And then the next thing I want you to do is while you are in that dreamy state, it's the theater state between sleeping and being awake, I want you to see yourself as your best version. Be the person you want to be. You are perfect. No, we're all imperfect human beings getting permanently better, but we are all perfect in the light of God. And so see the person with the purpose that you've come here to do. Once you see that person being successful, I want you to feel the emotions it feels to be that person, feel them in your body, feel them in your heart, your heart racing to be that person. And then with that thought, you can close your eyes. And the next day, there's a part in your brain, it's at the top part of your brain, it's called the reticular activating system. It will because you've programmed that person in your mind, the next day, you are going to push away everything that doesn't serve you. And you're going to be looking for evidence of the person that you have programmed in your brain in your mind the night before and you are going to bring that to you and you are going to during the, it, there's just going to be signs there's going to be signs everywhere for you to move in the right direction it's happened to me and it is awesome it's magic you have the power to manifest anything you want believe me it's all in your court it's amazing so Program your mind just before you're going to go to bed. Um, allow the reticular activating system, which is on the top of your, it's at the bottom of your brain, but it's at the top of your spine. And the next day it is going to draw miracles to you. Just look at the signs. Love you. Love you lots. That's been a Nicola from Dear to Begin Life Coaching. And remember, any comments, anything you want to share, please, um, please post, please post. And if you are interested in being interviewed on Dear to Begin Life Coaching, I would be honored to interview you. Please tell us. Peace, love and rainbows. That's been Nicola signing off. Love you. Bye.